Ashington Academy's review of 2020 so far. Enjoy! This year has been eventful, confusing, it's been strange. From two metres to Tiger King, from banana bread to Carol Baskin, we've all felt this was a year like no other. So let's take a look back. Does anyone actually remember January? There were rumblings of a virus in China, wildfires in Australia, and life at Ashington was, well, predictable. February was freezing, because it always is, isn't it? But March was when it all began. Everyone was prepared for a couple of weeks off school. We were gobsmacked. School just keeps on going, doesn't it? It must have been bad. Stop the rules of education turning. At home, we felt independent. We even felt productive at first. We started watching government press conferences. We thought it was going to be simple. It was a bit more complicated than that. Next slide, please. Hands up. Who baked banana bread? Stop beginning work at 8.40. Stop getting dressed. Stop sticking to a sleep pattern that represented someone who goes to school. I know I did. We couldn't see family whenever we chose. And we discovered that distance really does make the heart go fonder. Time became lost in lockdown. What day is it? What month is it? We were in a living with big watching tiger pig, hot tub sales, and an actual shortage of toilet rolls. We panic bought flour, tin food, pasta, hot noodles, and paracetamol. I mean, it was so ludicrous. You just had to laugh at it. Then, reality hit. Okay. Motivation is a curious thing. It's easy to generate when you're in the right place, but not so simple at home. We have finally worked out what teachers are for. In a funny way, we became teachers ourselves. Who would talk right to FaceTime, and all you saw for the whole call was the top of her forehead. We cheated each other when the work became too much. We worked out who really does keep the country moving. It's the NHS, key workers and delivery drivers. Rainbows brought us together. Rainbows and windows everywhere showing the community cared for everyone and appreciated everyone. A national effort to show that we all matter. And even though we suffered loss, we picked each other up again. And even though we've been apart, there will be a time when we get to be together. This Christmas won't be perfect, but 2020 wasn't either. But we can choose how to deal with it. We can choose to approach it with hope. So when you've gone all out for Christmas, Staying in, eating turkey, arguing over Monopoly, or maybe having a quiet one. Remember, stay together, stay hopeful, and protect Christmas. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and here's to a better 2021.